All right, if you didn't watch my last video, I'll have it pop up right now in the top right corner. So I recommend going ahead and watching that because it adds on to the story. But for a quick recap, me and my friends are going to be starting a game developing adventure with an obby and taking you along with us. Eventually, we will get to other games, but right now, this is what we're working on. Since our older games failed because of them being way too in-depth and crazy for me to even manage, we decided that first we would start with this game to learn and get way better at developing. So right here is where it all starts. You're ready to say hi to all of us and watch Watch us all begin the development of this game. Starting off, the first time we got on, we decided to get together and start working on the game design document using Notion where all of us can put our ideas. Because we decided we wanted a basic plan for the whole game before diving in, so we took a while setting that up. Looking back, we only had like 30 minutes before all of us had to get off, so we were all goofing around a little bit and just doing silly stuff. Wait, you won't. Guys, who want to play Fortnite? Eventually, we actually got to the designing of our GDD and we had an idea. We still don't really know what we're going to call it, but our idea is an obby where you're stuck in a broken down hotel and you have to escape it. Now, this game will be a standing point for all of our skill. From here, we would all start to levitate towards what scale we wanted to be good at to make this game development as efficient as possible. I already knew what I was going to do, which was mainly scripting, among other things, and it seemed the most interesting to me. Simeon also wanted to do scripting, along with some other things as well. Corey was mainly into modeling and map design, and Xavier will figure out what he likes as we make this game. None of us will be doing only one thing. We'll all be doing whatever we feel was the most fun. Since there was already four of us, we would eventually find out what we love most and turn into the perfect development team. Now going into this game, we all had ideas, so we wrote most of them down in the game design document along with all the mechanics that we decided were mandatory for the game to be in a releasing state. We really just wanted a simple obby that's polished with no bugs and fun mechanics that make it unique from other ones. Now most of this game is going to be map design, so eventually all of us would end up falling into that because it's an obby. But there was some scripting that had to be done as well. All of this had been planned out in the GDD. Now starting off. The first thing I found myself doing was scripting one of the most basic things, a death block, and Corey got to work on the map. We wanted to start off in a lobby, where you would then be teleported up to the actual obby. So that's what Corey was working on. Honestly, early on, I was super lost because I wasn't really sure what to be scripting. So I helped Corey out with a few things until I eventually actually got to what I was supposed to be doing. I wanted a ragdoll system in the game, for funsies and because I always loved it and it's funny. So I got to work on one of those. Now, throughout the development of this game, I never really know how to create anything from scratch. Literally everything that's been scripted was basically just bits and parts and pieces of different scripts that I put together to make them do what I want. I basically don't know anything other than how to read the script and know what it's doing, which I barely know how to do. Regardless, I got the ragdoll system to work after a few different attempts, and now when you press R, you can fall over all silly. And it does this when you die, which is pretty freaking cool. I also designed this super awesome trophy that I would eventually end up making something for. Now, at this point, Corey was still working on the map and I wanted music. Specifically, I wanted music zones. And that's easier said than done. It took me like two days to get this to work. It was super difficult for no reason. The whole time I was working on this, Simeon was working on making an elevator that would teleport you up to the actual obby. All of this I'm making seem like it's just light work and I want you to know that it was not. It took us both a while to get these mechanics to work, but once we did, it was the most rewarding thing ever. In between all of this, we started to get bored, so we ended up adding a lot of silly things to the game, for example this puddle that makes you slip and it plays a funny little sound. I like my puddle. Also, don't forget about the cat pictures that Simeon originally made, and then I took more of them and put them everywhere around the map. Since both me and Simeon's things were working so far, we sadly had to move on to other things. The next things we had on our list for scripting was a checkpoint system and a talking system for the NPCs. We also still had to work on the map, so that was also happening the entire time this was happening. Now, the checkpoints were super easy, so I just finished those up quick and went ahead to help the map a bit. Really, all I made was this door, but it was cool anyways. Now, I wanted to do the design for the NPCs since I also have some pretty decent animating skills and it's just a really cool thing to me. So I ended up getting to work with our first NPC, Ralph. For almost all of our NPCs that you'll see me make, I end up going through multiple designs for, mostly because of issues with animating that I didn't want to deal with, but it's funny so who cares. I made a design for our first NPC and animated it. Ralph was looking pretty snazzy. At this point, the lobby was looking like it was doing pretty well, so we went ahead and started working on the next part of the obby. Charles came in and joined our little adventure to help us do the elevator shaft, and he did a pretty good job designing it. It was basically just a stopped elevator that you'd have to go up the shaft of it and get to the next floors. We were working pretty hard on that part of the map. I find myself wasting a lot of time doing random stuff that doesn't need to be done and then giving up on it, so a lot of time was wasted on that. I noted that and I'm gonna try to fix it for our next games. I also designed our second NPC, Rebecca, along with animating her. She was pretty cool.
And this time I mainly just continued helping out with map design and doing some simple bug fixes that I saw as I went along. Simeon also finished making the basic talking system with the NPCs, and I also made our third NPC, and of course our super awesome fourth one. I also did some cool stuff like running around and making dialogue for all of our NPCs, and I fancied up the checkpoints so they played a cool sound when he touched them. I also work on scripting in a simple loading screen since I realized that the assets were loading pretty slow. This is also around the time that I discovered VFX, and I thought it was pretty cool even in its most basic form. Now at this point, since it was an obby, the majority of the mechanics were already done, and all that we had left was the map design, which I have decided to save for our next video together. This game only really has two videos left in it, so expect to see the map design next and playtesting last, then we'll be moving on to our next game. So if those are out, then go check them out, if not, then that's all I have for you guys in this video. If you want to see the rest, I made a playlist that should be on the screen right about now, and as always, I hope to see you in our next video, and stay safe.